All right, hello, wine drinking people. It's Friday, June 11th. One more day to go, two more shows before I'm off to Costa Rica on my vacation. So we will have a few offers going out next week. We just won't have any video going out with them. Today, we've got an event that's going on next week while I'll be gone. Uh, this is the cooking class, lobster, anybody. That's right, the sombrero chef has taken off his sombrero, and he's been to Italy, and now we're going to the Caribbean for some great lobster recipes. And sorry, folks, but we're serving all white wines. Oh, well, three white wines and one rosé with this. And although I am going to be out of town, we have wine expert Pat Carmody that will be taking my place wearing the Andrew Lampasone suit at Cafe Max on next Thursday. He'll be presenting the wines along with Tony Acampo from Terlato. Kind of uh, ironic that we have some Terlato wines on the What I Drank yesterday portion of the show. We'll be showing the Sokol Blosser Evolution, and this wine is a kitchen sink type white blend, uh, Merlot Thurgau, Riesling, Chardonnay, Pinot Blanc. I think there's like eight different white varietal grapes uh, in this wine. Uh, very interesting. I'm usually not a big fan of the kitchen sink type blends, uh, but this wine is very nice. And then we've got uh, Chimney Rock Fumé Blanc, uh, which we have the Elevage up here, but uh, the Fumé Blanc is sold out at the moment. So these wines do sell. That's one of the great things about wines in this book. You put them on the shelf, and they move out the door. Uh, we're doing a wine from Michel Chapoutier, one of the great producers of the Northern Rhone. This is a rosé. Um, this wine actually is a red wine. So, yes, this is not the wine we're doing. If you guys are paying attention at home, good job. Okay, and then Sanford Chardonnay, which you're right, this is Pinot. The Chardonnay, we've got 10 bottles that are MIA. We cannot find them in the store, but the 07 has been a great seller. We have a great price on this wine, just over $15 on sale. And also, a few things just happened to pop in today, and we didn't have room to throw them on their own email, and I don't have enough uh, products. We just have one three liter Camus Special Select 07 and a case of Magnums, 12 bottles of Magnums 07. This wine just got 96 points in the Wine Spectator. Actually, Camus Special Select is the number one scoring wine of all wines. According to the Wine Spectator, the 28 vintages that it's been scored, it's got an average of 95 points or 94.8 or whatever. And this is, I always say you can't drink points, but Camus Special Select is a great wine. The 07 is already sold out at the distributor in 750. They lowered the price to $95 to help move it through the system, and it just flew at that price. The 07 Camus Cab, also outstanding. In 2007, one of the things that Camus did is they lowered the production of the Special Select they had got this wine all the way up to over 10,000 cases in 2006, and they backed it down to about 5,000 cases in 07, which was a great vintage. So what did that do? That bumped up the quality of the regular Camus Napa. We don't want to call it regular. The Camus Napa Cab 07, which scored 92 points in the wine speculator. Also, and this wine is just about gone We've just heard word from our supplier that they may have one or two months, one or two weeks left supply of this wine. If you want to try the 07 Camus Napa, now is the time. We just got in a few cases, and hey, you know what? I'm leaving for vacation tomorrow. I'm going to have a bottle open in the store if anybody wants to stop in tomorrow and try it. That's right, folks. We're going to be drinking the good stuff first here before I leave, before Brown Bag tomorrow. Camus 2007 in the store. Check out. What's going on at Cafe Max next Thursday night for our lobster cooking class? I'm your host, Andrew Lampasone from the Wine Watch, signing off, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.